What's up all you beautiful people? I hope you guys are having a great day. So I want to start off by thanking you. So I want to thank every single one of you for supporting us, for being there for us, and for for doing everything that you do for us because it does give us hope. I mean, li literally, it gives me so much hope and faith that so many people out there are coming together and just the fact that you support us and support our family and like to be on this journey with us and see us grow is the most humbling feeling that there is. So I'm excited about the holidays. I hope you guys are excited about Thanksgiving. Um, I know one thing, I'm getting ready to go kill me a turkey and we're gonna cook it on Thanksgiving and I'm super excited about it. And guys, I just made a crazy decision something I never thought I would do, but I'm trying new things. Like I am a, one thing I'm trying to focus on is trying to be happy. I'm trying to stay stress-free, be happy. We had a little run in with the anxiety thing and we're kicking that thing's butt and I couldn't do it without all of y'all. Just to be able to go into my bedroom at night, lay down before I go to bed and read all the thousands of comments that you guys leave supporting us and supporting our family it's just like the best feeling ever. So I want to thank every one of y'all. And I especially want to thank everybody that went onto the merch store and bought a t-shirt, bought a hat, a uh, lanyard. Everything is going out. And I couldn't, I couldn't thank you guys enough. It really does mean a lot. It helps us with our builds. It's helping us with being able to do this YouTube thing. Because it is very expensive to do YouTube and build these trucks the way we're trying to build them and do the things that we're doing. So... It, it really does help out, and you guys watching the videos help out a lot, too. So I want every one of y'all to know I do appreciate it, and uh, I know that I couldn't do it without you. So thank you once again, and uh, you're, you're not going to believe what I've done, but I'm going to let you get to the video and see the crazy move that i just done, and I'm pretty happy about it. So, guys, I almost forgot. So don't forget, go to the merch store, check out gentryandsonstrucking.com, if you want to buy a t-shirt, if you want to get something for the holidays, maybe get a Christmas present for your loved ones. Um, there's all kinds of stuff on there. And like I said, it's gentryandsonstrucking.com, all one word. And uh, check out the merch site. So I come down here at the Ford place and I was looking at some trucks. They've got this XLT F250. Uh, now this one's nice. It ain't as nice as this Larry up here, but I really like the color. But I am a gray guy too. Like I like the charcoal gray, and um, so I don't know. I'm, I don't want the leather seats. I really wanted the cloth seats. But I want the upgraded screen, which that one up there has the upgraded screen. So I'm gonna see what they'll give me for my Ram. So I don't work this truck just because I'm trying to hold its value. But on one of these, I could get it and put it to work, and you know, put 150,000 miles on it, sell it, get my money back out of it. This is kind of a specialty thing because it's such a low mileage truck and all the stuff that's done to it and all that. So um, we're going to see what they'll give us for it. This is my local Ford dealership here. And uh, who knows, they might give us you know, sixty or $70,000 for it and then we're definitely going to trade because that's what they're wanting for that truck. I definitely would like to trade even, but I am willing to give a little too if it comes down to it. So we're gonna pull up here and let them look at it and see what they'll give us for it. And tell me what you guys think about the having a diesel Ford. So I've never been a Ford guy, but I think I'm willing to try it. All right guys, so this is the Lariat. Holy crap, is this thing nice. It is so freaking nice. It's got 10 miles on it. So, and this truck here is heavy enough. So like this thing will be a hundred percent ride off. And that's my main thing is I've got to have at least one more good ride off for this year. And it's like killing three birds with one stone on this deal. So get rid of the truck that I don't, I can't use as a work truck. Um, they get a good truck to put on their lot and then um, we get something we can put a driver in and we can use it to go on trips like when I go to Cletus and cars and stuff I'm gonna have to put a fifth wheel in it and we're gonna 
run this against the Dodges and see what they do versus fuel mileage or liability, all that stuff, because we're growing the business and I don't have time to be working on trucks. And it seems like the pickups are a lot simpler than the, than the big trucks. So um, I'm willing to give one of these a shot. Everybody's been trying to tell me to get a 6.7, give it a shot. So here I am giving it a shot. I don't know if we'll get it yet or not. We're gonna see what the numbers are compared to what they'll give me for my truck, but they're asking 76 for it. But he said he'd give me a discount on it. So I'm gonna say, well, if we get out of here for $70,000 and then um, I'm hoping they'll give me somewhere in that range for my truck, I would be willing to give five or 10,000 boot, but we'll see what happens. And they're really, really good guys here. This is a really good dealership. Uh, the owner is really down to earth. He's actually the one that come out and looked at my truck. So I like that. He's here every day and he works every day. I wonder if I got something here we can do burnouts in. Burnouts? Yeah. You can do burnouts in that. I mean, we've got to do some sort of burnout while we're here. Oh, you've got to. <laughs> Whether that be ours, or yours, we can do a burnout in Mustang right there. <laughs> Where's the owner? Let's go get him. I'm telling you, we got to do something sick. You ever drove an electric truck? No, I have not. Y'all have one? Really? Is it fast? Fastest thing you ever drove. No, I really? Swear it is. is that I'm it? Here. I want to drive it. Heck yeah. It? Yeah. No way. I'm not about to drive this electric truck. Oh my gosh. Look at it. It's all closed off. <laughs> this is crazy. Guys, check this out. Holy That's crap. The That's the front. That's so weird to not be in a motor there. Yeah, see so you open this up. There's a charge port there. That's where you charge it? Yeah. And say, I'll turn it on here. And it's on. That's it. That's it. How long does it stay charged? This has the extended range tank. So, uh -huh. this, not tank, but extended range battery, battery. And it will go up to about 300. And I know it's low for right now. Ford's kind of working on a, a better plan to get more miles on a full charge. I'm not against electric. I think they're just pushing it yeah. too hard. Oh, yeah, for sure. You know, that's my problem with it is don't try. They're trying to get it into the trucking industry oh, right now, sure. and it's just not time yet. No, it's not. Let this get figured out, and then, you know, but I like my diesel engines. Oh, yeah. Yeah, hop in here and drive it. Oh yeah, this is gonna be awesome. This is so weird. And it's running right now? It's on. Drive mode, sport. There we go. Has it got any like noises that it makes for like room brooms? Mm -mm. You gotta make nope. it yourself? Yeah, you gotta make them yourself. All right, let's see. What... There you go, you just let off the brake here. No, <laughs> whoa, dude, that is so weird. I ain't making no noises, no man. No noise, man. It's it's unreal. And we're in sport mode. Where's the heat? Is it got heat? Oh yeah, I'm turning it up right here. Got the heated seats and the heated steering wheel on. So you don't have to warm it up? Nope. What? That is nuts. It ain't got nothing. It has to warm up. About that. Dude, this is kind of nuts. So what happens if you run out of battery? You're just stuck on the side of the road. Do you get a recharge? Yeah, Ford. Uh, they do roadside assistance. So there's a number you can call and they send a driver at the, from the local dealership to pick you up and get your vehicle towed back to the dealership. That's that's what's up. I mean, I get it. I, I mean, I'm, like I said, I'm not against electric, but I mean, I like my Milwaukee guns yeah. and all that stuff. I'm just, I, I just hate that they're pushing it so hard yeah, and trying to take away our freedoms to do it, you know? Yeah, for sure. For sure. They're, they're pushing it hard right now. Oh, hardcore pushing yes. out. Man, that steering wheel's already hot. Heck yeah. It just got it. Holy crap, dude. <laughs> that is nuts. Oh, jeez. Tried to tell you. And that's on 37%? Yes. Dude, this is crazy. I mean, it's just instant. All wheel drive. I mean, just right there. Dude, there's no noises. It's what's, it's, that's what's not. Uh, I never expected to be driving one of these, to be honest with you. Here you are. <laughs> Dude, this is... 
71 miles that we got left. That would be the only thing I'd be freaked out yeah, about. If you ran out. Because if you plan a trip. That is, whoa, dude. <laughs> It'll just lift up and go. Ford does a thing called Power My Way. So if you put a destination in here and it will give you the local charge points that you need to stop at for a convenient trip onto the way. Okay, so how long does it take to charge? You know? So with the fast ports, it will charge about 45 minutes. But it only charges up to 80 percent to help preserve the battery. All right, and then that's pretty cool. Now I need a frame machine. That's my frame machine right there. Is it? <laughs> yeah, I need to get rid of it. I need to get a front of it. Oh yeah, dude, that is. It is. Holy crap, guys! This thing will fly. You got up to 70 about 500 feet yeah that's that's crazy man i mean i see it coming it's this to have that kind of power like that oh. that's gonna be nice. so that's a good selling point right there you know instant power it's if they had the charge stuff figured out you know and the grid and electric and all that oh, to where yeah. it's like i said i kind of had that same mindset like yeah i'm not sure about it and i drove this and change completely you know i got I'm, I'm not gonna lie i'm impressed i like yeah. it I definitely it's, it's unbelievable really what you can do with just electricity mm -hmm. yeah and then like the like i i've got a one inch impact now i don't need to use my air compressor anymore because it's so powerful yeah, and it 100%. you know but the technology's there with it you know they've been doing the electric tools long enough to where they're there with it yeah and then now I see why everybody says the Teslas are so fast. I like the screen. That screen's oh, pretty yes. awesome. All the new Expeditions and the higher trim levels and the Super Duties and 150s, like you go to the King Ranch Limited Platinum, come with that uh, screen. If this was so, you just drove back and forth to Knoxville every day to work, this would be pretty sweet to have. Oh, 100%. Not have to stop and get gas and all that, charge it when you get home at night. Yeah, because we're fixing to uh, add about eight different charger points here. So we're going to be a, a certified EV dealer. We can have a bunch of different charging ports. We'll have yeah. them against the road. People can come. So just come in and get a yeah. charge. So does it cost anything to charge? Or I guess for a supercharger? For a fast charger, it just depends on which one you go to. Some of them are like a dollar a kilowatt. I want to turn it off. There's nothing to turn off. Some of them are 40 cents a kilowatt. Oh, there is actually. It really just depends on the location. So we really can get a full fill up for under $20. Well, that's not bad. I am impressed. I ain't, it's I will so be honest cool. with you. I am impressed. <laughs> that is pretty cool. And I love that it's got heat like that. Oh, yeah, man. And cold, that's. That's the only way you sold it to me is the heat, right? <laughs> Guys, this is nuts. This is so cool. I can't believe I'm saying this, but this truck is pretty badass. It's bad. It's bad to the that point. power is. <laughs> I told you, man. Instant. Like, people is going to be drag racing these things. Oh, there's the charge. Because I'm sure you'll be turn you can turn them up. Oh, that Bronco is sexy right there. Yeah, it is, man. That 5.0 is really what I like, though. All right, guys, so we're test driving the, the F-250, and this thing has got some juice. It will get up and go. That is insane how fast. Even push 3, that is crazy. All right, I'm a believer. Which I've, I've drove Cletus's truck, and I loved it, and I figured, let's give it a shot. So we're going to do it. They're going to, we're going to trade the Ram for the, the Ford. I can't believe I'm doing it, but I'm gonna I'm gonna make the move and see how I like it. It's got the big screen in it. It's leather, heated and air conditioned seats. Um, wheels and tires, man. He's loaded. Oh, dude, this thing's sweet. I'm gonna drive it a little bit and I'm gonna put it on the road probably. But I gotta definitely. It's gotta pay for itself. It's gotta at least work itself off. So, um, guys, it looks like we're going to the Ford side. He's coming in. See what happens. So I did not expect to trade my truck today. I expected to come down here and see what we could do. I did not expect, how long have I been here, an hour? An hour. 
Y'all made this so effort. Like the effort was just so easy. We appreciate that. We try to. Not, I've never had a dealership experience like this. I'll be honest with you. And it's Jackie Jones here in Sweetwater. I'm not just saying that because they gave me a really, really good deal in this truck. I'm saying that because they really, they did a good job with me. So um, what's your, so this is Chance. Let's get, uh, what's your phone number? My phone number is, my personal phone number is 423-252-9845. And the name's Chance Hobson. I'm a sales advisor here at Jackie Jones Ford Lincoln in Sweetwater. And if we, if we can help you in any way, you feel free to give us a call or give me a call and I'll try to help you out the best I can. Is that a Supra over there? It is a Supra. Sorry to get sidetracked, yeah, we but... we got a Supra, we got an R Audi RS Is that five. thing fast? It is fast. I mean, it only pushes about 400 horsepower, but it, it's one of the best handling sports cars I've ever drove. Dang. So, it's guys... a BMW. So, a lot of the guys here, like I've done a lot of street racing with, there's a lot of guys here that's got some fast fox bodies and stuff like that and a lot of my family work here too and i've never bought a vehicle here but they've got mustangs they do have good inventory like a lot, a lot of dealers have inventory right now they've got diesel trucks they got a jacked up diesel truck down there they've got crap everywhere yeah i really do have good inventory yeah we're we're slowly getting there in about another beginning of the year probably we'll have probably back up to 200 cars here how much is that electric truck so that electric truck right there it has actually been it's already it was ordered sold it's a demo vehicle and so it's stickered at eighty nine thousand. but you can get the lightnings for as low as just over forty thousand dollars okay well guys give chance a holler yep. um so this thing is for sale now like they're going to sell the truck he's not going to keep it i think after he drives he's going to keep it that, but that's probably true um so the boss man actually sits in there in that desk. He's out there on the floor at all times, um, which is another cool thing. He makes all of the decisions. And he's right here to talk to you face to face. Um, and like, it kind of hurt his, like he thought he was going to hurt my feelings. You know, I had a price set in my, my mind when I got here and he thought he was going to hurt my feelings because, you know, looking at this thing, you think it's a $90,000 truck, but he, so like that was pretty cool. Yeah, I, I gotta say, y'all did a good job with he it. Does, he's, like I said, his dad owned it before he owned it, so it's been in his family for yeah. forty or fifty. Years. Well, when you got that, when that happened, when he was worried to even tell me a, yeah. how he wanted to trade, right. I was like, that's kind of people I want to deal yeah. with. That's pretty cool though. Um, but anyways, it's going to be for sale here. They're going to clean it up. We are going to come back and do a little video with it. Go over all the mods with them. Show them how everything works on it, what all it has, and give them all the receipts for it. And and all that but guys you've seen this thing on videos it's very reliable it's a workhorse it's low mileage um and i've got like eighty thousand dollars worth of receipts to go with it so if somebody come to buy this thing i'm sure you'd get a really good yeah. deal in it yeah. yeah give me a call uh we'll give you the best deal we can and we'll take care of you for sure yeah for sure definitely i'd love to see somebody get this from the youtube channel and uh and get a comment or a picture or an email or something from it but it's down here in sweetwater jackie jones ford and here she is guys all the job i gotta even leave the red things i can't get them back off because they're pressed on but um i'm sure tim would get me another set or show me where to get a set she's a bad girl it's a big mega cab guys and this thing is capable of any amount of power you want to put to it it's got all the goodies um all right baby i love you i'll see you later golly mom i can't believe i'm getting rid of it there she goes guys the beast of a mega cab mm. welcome to the ford family welcome to the ford i can't believe i just bought a ford dude you did and you're gonna love it too i hope so you're gonna love it man. look at that what do you think about it dad i like it was that 22 uh, i think they're 20s 20s or 20s what i like about it it's a brand new truck the frame's all painted oh, no yeah. rust no worries and now it's it's you never have to worry about it and it's under warranty yeah. yep drive it year trade it back in for a new one that's what i'm planning on i'm gonna try to get on like a cycle like that and do yeah three or yeah. four and you trade it in every year yep i mean we had a pretty good luck with our hot shot fleet but i think with doing it like this so the ram now we bought it new and it's got 130,000 miles on it. So if we trade in at 100,000 or 150,000, um, 
so guys our hot shot trucks we have good luck with them like we put them out on the road we don't worry about them they do good they don't we don't have to worry about passing inspections and these things are a little bit different than a big truck so a semi truck i don't think the uh, technology was there when they started going to emissions and there's just too much power trying to push through it but with these hundred thousand miles traded in and it. it's not three hundred thousand dollars I mean, this is a, you can go buy this truck right here for 70K. And that's a nice truck for $70,000. That's a lot of truck for $70,000. Yeah. You can pull just about anything you want. Yeah. And with the new motors they're putting in these, it's crazy the torque they're getting. In. Yeah. So I love the Ram. The Ram was a great truck, but it was just too fancy. All that horsepower stuff that's on it, the wheels, the. It was a toy. Yeah. I cannot believe the power this truck has. V factory and just off the darn showroom floor, this thing will flat out and get up and go, oh, automatic lights? Oh, that's cool. That is cool. Look at that big old screen. This thing will flat out and go. I mean, it'll just go, guys. It will flat out rip. The first mud on it. First mud. Dang. Might have to fly here like really slow. Uh, yeah, for like all the way home. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't realize it was that muddy. Oh, dude, it's work truck. I don't want it to work. Oh my gosh, I'm, I bet this thing fires right up actually, but probably don't even need this. Ain't been started in a long time though. I doubt I even need that, honestly. Usually this thing starts right up. I don't care if you let it sit a year. Well, we need to... Uh, Drain all the water out of it first. Um, probably full. Yeah, be careful that cap. Yeah, it's definitely got something in it. How many gallons we got? Three, I think. Because, yeah, they did say that they would. Oh, uh, dirt dauber's nest in it, of course. Got a knife. Put that off right there. Heck. There we go. There ain't no way to get it all out of the block. We'll have to get it running and get it warmed up. Dude, this thing is such a beast of a tractor. Oh, yeah. It pulls that bush hog, I mean, it'll flat out eat some ground. But one side of the bush hog wasn't working, so I parked it right there. I need to figure out, lift it up and see what the heck's going on with it. I need to just get this over to the shop and work on it. The gear boxes. There's nothing sheared here, so it's gotta be underneath. I guess I'm going to lift it up and see what's going on with it.
reward done. Uh, yeah. Something's not right. Doesn't look horrible under here. Something's definitely sheer though, because yeah. look, it's turning. This does look worse on it. Yeah. That or your deck is warped. Oh, that's the deck. It looks like the deck, kind of. Look at that down there. Something's broke or something. Yeah. Cause it ain't sure to pin because the your box ain't trying to turn. Right. See, I don't even feel that. Yeah. There must be a the shaft is busted or something in there. And that's weird because it was working just fine. I shut it off and uh, come back to Bush Hog again, went to fire it up, and only the middle and the that side was working. Rex didn't come give her a rip? Possibly did. Because he was over here for like a week for this thing. And knowing him, he just kicked the PTO on. Dude, that thing's turned pretty dang good. Yeah, it did. It's been sitting for probably six, seven months. And it's what, 28 degrees right now? Yeah. 30? Anymore. No, they don't. Sounds like a straight up pulling tractor. Dude, this thing will flat out eat some ground up. Like it will. There's no stopping it. When it goes, it goes. That bush hog on the back, like you can put it in third gear, high range or whatever, high, or yeah, high range third, and just go as fast as you want to get. So fast you can't hardly hold the tractor. Crazy. This thing will fly. Ain't gonna break. But. <laughs> it was yeah. shooting some flames out of your exhaust leak there. Was it? Yeah. Yeah, it needs it. We gotta weld that. Ah. My work truck with 26 miles on it. <laughs> All right, guys, we are putting the F-250 to the test today. So we're going to take it over here, load this daggone little mini X up because my septic tank is jacked up. And then me and Brax is probably going to clean some cars. And uh, we got to take, we bought a car we got to take down there to Sam. And I can't wait to video it, but I can't, it can't be in this video. It's going to be in the next one. This is with the trailer on, just touching the gas. This thing just gets right up and goes. It's got plenty of power. It's the new high output 6.7. I think they're like 1,300 uh, foot-pounds of torque. Look, there's that 963 Brax that I want. Oh, I want it bad. It's a C2. 
So we're headed over here to pick up a track hoe for my buddy. Um, it's a little mini X and he's going to be so excited to see me pull up in a daggone Ford. He don't know that I got it yet. But they are Ford guys and uh, they've been trying to convert me back forever. Because back in high school, that's all I drove was Fords and even after high school, I had a 6.0 and a, um, a 6.4 truck. But that after that 6.4 nightmare, I was done. Bag her up, Braxinator. All right, come back around the other way. Cut her deep. Straight. Cut her deep. Look at that, boys. Kids are natural. All right, you're good. That wasn't a brand new truck and a brand new truck. I'd probably let him do it by himself, but equipment's getting a little expensive around here lately. I'd say right there. Yeah, that looks good right there. Oh, that's beautiful. I like it. Dude, that is a stout little old trailer, ain't it? You want any other buckets? I've got every, every other side, so you need it. I don't think I need I mean, that does fill line, won't it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's, that's cool. Yeah. I'm just going to put a new one in and be done with it. I ain't dealing with it no more. This is the second time I've had to dig it up, so. What do you think? Pick you up in there? <laughs> I'll think. All right, we're all loaded up, guys. See if this four can handle this thing. I think that machine's probably 10 or 12,000 pounds, I guess. This thing is just unreal. So I can see why a lot of my Dodge friends have all agreed with me. Um, they There's a few of them that's got some of the new uh, Fords like this. and uh, So I had a lot of recommendations before I went and made this move. And they all told me, man, I have no regrets. Like they run just as good as the new Dodge. Cause my 2021 Dodge, the one that Tim's in, that truck, same way, super, super strong truck, right from the factory. The Ace on transmission shifts awesome, but this 10 speed though is amazing. I really like this 10 speed, so. Holy moly, Braxy, holy. So guys, Braxy's back at it. He's not feeling sick anymore. He was down with the flu there for a few days. I don't know why I'm rolling this window down. I was rolling the window down so you could hear the exhaust, but there's, you can't hear this thing. All right, this is what's crazy. Like this thing rides so good. Look, that's barely touching the gas because I'm worried I'm gonna rip the rear end out from under it. Just walking up this hill like it's nothing. Unbelievable how strong this truck is. This thing will flat out tow. And I've drove some of the older 6.7s. They do not run like this. This high output motor is just unbelievable. It's unbelievably strong. It's just insane. So, get jack brake or exhaust brake. Anyways, me and Brax really like the truck. Um, we're just trying to figure out the radio stuff. Can't get my phone to talk to the radio. It Like, I can hear people talking to me, but I can't talk to them. So I don't know what's up with that. But 
either way, it's that's something we can figure out that's pretty simple. But if you guys know, if you got one of these trucks and you know anything about this radio, um, is there a setting or something I've got to go to to fix it? But anyways, guys, that's going to finish off today's video. We love you guys. Thank you for watching. I hope you guys support this move and see what I'm seeing and doing what I'm doing. And there's a lot more to come. Um, pretty excited about it. So anyway, we love y'all. We'll see you on the next video.